Hey everyone, this is Tim Maria with Digital Health Live with the Idea Life Studio here at CS 2014. We got Dr. Richard Migliori, who is the Executive Vice President and Chief Medical Officer for United Health Group. How are you doing, Richard? Just fine, thanks, Tim. So we had a blast at your guys' booth area earlier today. Lots going on. United Health Group is tweeting here huge with uh, CES Health. And um, what was going on inside? We're our booth is really dedicated to showing people how to make the best decisions in terms of buying benefits and then getting the most out of them. It's really uh, decision support tools as well as tools to help people stay on a happy and productive lifestyle. So inside we were talking about prevention as policy. Who were some of the speakers and what were some of the highlights of that session? Uh, the, the, the session was, was really well done. We had the moderator comes from this industry. Uh, and was a consultant with PwC. Uh, Samir was, uh, it showed us what can be done using a live laboratory type setting uh, and the use of some of the software tools to help people use uh, preventive uh, measures. And I was joined by uh, uh, Marco Peluso as well, who uh, was able to demonstrate the effectiveness of some very simple, straightforward, and really elegant looking devices uh, that can be used for um, uh, tracking cardiac related disease and its progression. Where are we at in the lifespan of digital health from your uh, career in looking at now and then? It's 2014, it's a new year, what's happening? You know, uh, we see year after year a broadening interest in terms of digital health as well as a broadening of the capabilities that are there. I remember our first trip here we showed three different things that we've worked on. We must have 28 or so different things that we're showing. The number of booths etc. And I think all of it reflects the fact that we're finally catching on that in order for us to serve America and to do it at the scale that we need to do it at an affordable price, we really should be turning to things that are already part of America's lifestyle. Oh, you know, digital yeah. equipment. Yeah, you guys had a game, a game down at the, uh, the show floor. Yeah, that game there is something that we've used in schools and what it does is to help children lose weight. Well, how do we do it? It wasn't by creating our own new game but to go to Dance Dance Revolution and build a program that allows kids to be able to engage in something they like to do it, but to do it using a method that we were able to show them that is more likely to keep kids at it and keep it effective in helping these children lose weight and stay active. So it sounds like you're looking for different partners here at CES? Oh, we always do. You know, there was a time in our history in which we had a notion that we really had to build it ourselves. And part of it was just from the fact that we really did because our systems didn't talk to each other. There was very little interoperability. And more importantly, data security was an issue. Those problems are being solved. That allows us to tap into the bright minds of the companies that also show up here. I've spent much of today not just on a panel meeting new capabilities, but also looking at other companies that are bringing to the table some of the new capabilities that we just really hadn't thought of yet. And I think this cross-fertilization, you're going to start seeing capabilities as well as adaptiveness uh, grow uh, geometrically. So how do people connect up with, with, with your team? Uh, best thing to do is uh, certainly while we're online at uh, United Health uh, Care or United Health Group or Optum.com, all three of those. But I'd invite anybody here who's participating, come over to the, to the South Building and come and spend some time with us in our booth and see the kinds of breath and some of the examples of the things we've brought to the marketplace. Last year, we spent about $2.5 billion in, in emerging and stabilizing technologies. We're really starting to see the fruits of those year-over-year -year investments. Well, thanks so much for your time, Dr. Uh, Migliori. I really appreciate everything that you guys are doing and how much uh, energy and support you guys are bringing to the Digital Health Summit at CES. Uh, thanks, Tim, and it's, uh, we're glad to be a part of this very important forum.